All right. I actually made it through, um, well, almost. I almost made it through doing double uploads every day. I had to make up with the triple yesterday. Uh, we are talking about nursery on today. And for clarity, I actually tested nursery rhyme like pre buff on my NA account with an MP5. Uh, I was already seeing issues and remembered why I didn't use her in farming. Because basically, if you do not have Oberon, and especially you don't have Black Rail, you're going to run into A, battery problems, B, uh, damage problems. Uh, and full disclosure for that, like my nursery rhyme isn't maxed out. Like a pen uh, two isn't maxed out and battery isn't maxed out, which both would and wouldn't affect her looping. Uh, currently before her buff, she needed double Castoria Oberon. There could be no substitutions. Uh, actually, if you didn't have like a maxed out black rail, you're probably kind of out of options and had to use uh, double Castoria Oberon. Uh, MP5 level 90, um, MOB black rail max level, like all that shit. Maybe you can get away with using Oberon. But in general, I was seeing uh, against neutral, she was looping uh, 65%, which yeah against casters it was like in the 70s but you're using a caster they're supposed to be fighting assassins which have worse refund if neutral he's having issues being able to get overkill to refund you might not have those problems getting overkill or you wouldn't have had those problems getting overkill but you probably would have had refund issues let's see if this buff actually affects it So, Nursery Rhyme, she's called Alice because of Fate Extra. Uh, that game, Fate Extra Record, is going to be coming out next year, so probably go get that. Uh, base attack, HP, her H attack as a caster is low, and casters have a negative damage modifier. So, uh, she she needed help from the get-go. She was already, like, uh, 500 below 9k. Uh, not where you want to be, but this is usually where casters and assassins are hp it's not that high this is this is kind of low hp uh it's not the lowest but it's not high either and be charged 0.54 percent uh triple arts deck with three hits on each three hit extra attack arts arts cards are fine they're not great but they're not that good either mp charge being 0.54 it's a it is a partial issue but again i literally right before i record this uh i did like a brief run it's like if you're used to using three hit arts mps like muramasa like it's not that different in refund like if her refund was like 0.3 and she still had three hits then we'd be running into issues but 0.54 um, isn't that what Kiara has? Or close to what Kiara? Uh, yeah, no, like, is it like if you use Kiara, Muramasa, like Nursery Rhymes' uh, refund profile is pretty much identical. Uh, she's just lacking like a little bit in places, and that's why you run you ran into issues with her before. First skill, self mod, 500% crit damage, uh, and 600% star weight for three turns. Self mod is a skill that is up for being buffed. I will like be saying this in the future, but ever since uh, Charisma and uh, Tactics pretty much got their buffs, they started looking at other skills. Uh, self mod is one of them. Uh, we have three servants out of, I believe, seven. No. Six. six. Three servants out of six that have self modification have got the skill buffed. We have it buffed at the top and we have it buffed at the absolute bottom. So that means everyone in between, it's up for this skill getting buffed. 
and I will admit, as a crit servant, Nursery Rhyme definitely falls flat. She is an art servant, and she pretty much didn't have any way to actually make it so she could crit. Like, yes, she had crit weight, hit damage, and star weight. How, how is that going to help her if she has zero stars? All right. So, her second skill was just a morph or a shape shift. Did they rename it? Yes. Shape shift has already been a skill that has been buffed multiple times. I actually forgot like morph has been buffed this often. This is why I think Tomomo is like so likely to actually get a buff because morph shape shift. This skill has been buffed almost as much as uh, I don't. I want to say almost as much as tactics. I don't want to say charisma, but almost as much as tactics. Um. I can, I can check that later, but this almost every single servant that has it. Uh, three, four, six, eight. Seventy-five percent of the servants that have this skill have gotten a buff already. So Ibaraki, Tomo, it is literally only a matter of time. The buff is absolutely nutty and makes her both a sub DPS and a farmer herself. She gets. 30% arts along with the 30% defense for one turn and the other the 30% defense that lasts for three turns. 20% battery for every child servant ally on the field by 20% and increases the MP damage for, of fairy tale servants by 20% for three turns. Nursery Rhyme counts as a fairy tale servant and in stage two and three, child servant. So Basically, if you see the book, she's not getting her battery. She's now going to be one of those characters where you have to make sure of um, what ascension she's in because her farming will change depending on it. Uh, if you plan for her to have the 20 battery, she needs to have the 20 battery. Sim like simple as that. But she's always going to get the MP damage. So in from what I was testing, is this 30% arts going to make a difference? Absolutely. If she's 5% off from... Yeah, like, let me actually bring up the video. Uh, just stop. Right here. Uh, yeah, I messed up. This is with already having an Oberon skill buff. And... Hang on. Yeah, right here, 65%. Uh, yeah, like even with Castoria 30s, this is impossible. You can't, you can't loop like this. But again, it's only 5%. This 5% probably can at least bring her up to 69%. Meaning, uh, oh, sorry, also. I just want to show off like where she's actually starting and just like do quick maths about this. Her battery's for, uh, we'll get into this. Uh, yeah, let me, let me finish talking about this. So yeah, this is a really good skill buff for her for looping. Just, you have to be aware of what ascension she is in. Otherwise she's not going to get this. She cannot be a book. It has to be the child, uh, form of nursery rhyme. Uh, so yeah, has to be one of these two cannot be first ascension. Third skill, 40% battery, uh, 2k heal, and a full cleanse. This is fine for looping, and honestly, this works out so well with uh, double cast Soria, and I'll get into that in a second. So, Nursery Rhyme, you have her mana loading at 20, maxed out. You pop her battery, 40%, you're at 60. And now you're going to pop the second skill. Arts up on Nursery Rhyme. For both of them and then you pop the 240s on nursery she is now able to mp you are she i don't have to use the 30 batteries like i do here uh, i'm just gonna let this play out yeah like i actually had to waste charge on her uh just because i wanted to try to get castoria to mp but that wasn't gonna happen because she loops short here too. Uh, 
And yep. 65%. I had I had to sw switch to Oberon, otherwise I wasn't gonna be able to complete the loop. So now Nursery Rhyme should should be a black rail looper. Uh and able to do it without Oberon. She should be. But that was in a a neutral node. B, the enemies weren't that high health. And the third thing, that was an MP5 nursery rhyme. MP5. And I was running into issues like that. So at MP1, how much better do you think you're going to do? Um, I don't know if base nursery rhyme like MP1 is even going to be able to end black rail loop actually no i think no here's the issue the issue is not using black rail if you're not using black rail you are going to run into damage issues um and i because i think that run was me not using black rail that's why the damage was like as low as it was um even starting from a 50 percent ce you're you're not getting the oberon but again you're going to run into damage issues uh this skill should alleviate a lot of that burden on needing higher copies of nursery rhyme just to get her looping the only uh thing you care about here is mana loading skill cooldown not gonna do much unless you're doing some cooldown reduction stuff with tommo it's not likely you're gonna be able to double stack this again if you have tomomo and are able to get off two mps you can double stack this once but don't think that's like optimal for her like not, not enough battery uh yeah so mp three hit aoe damage to all enemies reduces their defense for uh by 20 percent for three turns and chance to drain 60 percent they have been moving away from chance based drain i honestly wouldn't be surprised if they actually double buffed her mp um let's just check it mp damage yes 60 percent uh, or sorry is that twenty thousand? that pull that definitely pulled her from down here to up there but it also might have just screwed her over on getting an mp buff um Yeah, no, I think that actually just screwed her over from getting an MP buff. Uh, do I think it is actually likely in the future that she does it? Yes, only because if all these servants ever get an MP buff, uh, yeah, like it, it's going to look worse. Like uh, Nursery Rhyme looks good because all these other servants don't have MP buffs. Like Anastasia does and that shows like they have similar mp damage uh or her nursery rhymes mp2 looks similar to anastasia's mp1 but yeah like this is i'm glad i got the reference before because i was about to spout some shit because uh nursery rhyme wasn't on here before that she couldn't do it she could it just wasn't consistent uh and again, I was not testing this on Berserkers, which is, I think, probably why she wasn't on the list. If any, if any of the enemies are Berserker, I think the looping just gets really, really scuffed. And if you don't have Nursery Rhyme like maxed out, where you have those extra batteries, that if you loop below uh, 70, it's okay, but you're we're playing a battery game at this point with nursery rhyme like she needs batteries when she needs them uh and it's yeah it's not bad it's just 
I'm dealing with an MP5 and or and running into problems, I can only imagine how someone with only an MP1 nursery rhyme is going to be using her. Oh, I skipped the passive. She has 10% uh, arts. She, so she already had arts. It just wasn't high enough to like really matter. Uh, level materials. She doesn't need gold up here. She does not need gold here. And but they put the gold with her pens. Fuck off. At least you don't need that many. But still, lamps. Yeah. The yarn actually makes sense because of the fairy tale. This actually makes sense. Bon CE, 15% crit damage for the party and 10% healing while she's on the field. I mean, if you get her, she's not she's not the worst anymore. She's definitely not the worst out of AoE casters. Uh, are you going to use her over Sieg? Probably not. Sieg is just like... If Nursery Rhyme runs into issues looping, Sieg is not going to reach those problems. Like, Nursery Rhyme loops 70, Sieg loops 100 plus. Uh, but that also has to do with the fact that his defense down happens before damage. And that's also why I think they're probably not going to let Nursery Rhyme do this before damage. Because that is stepping into Sieg territory. But who knows? If they decide to bu double bot this, I would again, I wouldn't be surprised because they've been moving away from chance base strain. Um, again, why Summer BB might get her buff, but she has a guaranteed drain and I think another drain. Uh, let me just double check that before we end this video. Guaranteed drain and then a chance base for an extra drain. Um, I don't, I don't like this effect. Like, I do want them to buff MP. It's like I want uh, Nursery Rhyme needed this buff. All right. Uh, next up is the Cock Wizard Merlin. Him finally getting his first buff. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.